I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Edward VI, King of England. I take three fingers in the center, right underneath, I put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a curve line down, over, and leave it floating. Come back to the dot, I'm going to draw a curve line down, curve line out, in, down, and connect. Right about here on the left, I draw a straight line down, slightly curved line over, and right up here on the right, I draw a straight line down, connect. I come back over here to the left, and I'm going to draw a curved line out, in, out, in, out, and down. And I come on the right hand side, right about here, and I'm going to draw a curved line out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, connect. Okay? I come back to the left and I'm going to draw straight line, curve line down off the page. Come on the right hand side, straight line out, curve line down off the page. I come back to the left and I draw a straight diagonal. Come up a little bit right here, straight diagonal down, and then I draw one, two straight lines. Come underneath, and I'm going to draw a curve line out, in, out, in, off the page. Come on the right hand side, straight diagonal down, straight diagonal down, straight line, straight line. And inside right here, I'm going to draw a curve line out, in, out, in, off the page. I come inside my two straight lines here and I just draw wavy line all the way down on the right. Come over here on this section, wavy line all the way down on the left. I come right here in this space and I draw a curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line. Come on the right hand side, right here in this space, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line. And now I'm going to draw little dots following the straight lines that I've already drawn. I'm going to come back in and do little dots all the way. Now, this is the King of England. So this outfit he's got on is very, very heavily embroidered with silk and satin thread. So all of these little dots and wavy lines and curves all represent embroidered decorations on his actual outfit. And we're going to have to work our way up because he's wearing a lot of stuff. Okay, now I come back up here to the top and I'm going to draw a slightly curved line over, straight line down, curve line up, connect. I come back over here on the left and I'm going to draw a curve line up, over, in, connect. And then right above there I'm going to draw a curve line down. And come back up to the right, and I'm just going to go wavy, wavy, wavy line. Keep going all the way up and connect. Now I come back to the left, and right about here, I draw another curve line up, over, connect, bring it over, jump down, and connect. Okay? I come inside, and I'm going to draw a slightly curved line and curve line back. Connect on the left, slightly curved line, back in, connect on the right. Curve line, 
curve line, connect on the left, curve line, curve line, connect on the right. Come back to the left and draw a little curve line inside. One, two curve lines. Draw another little curve line inside. One, two curve lines. Right here in the center, we're going to draw a slightly curved line out, in, up, and leave that floating. Come right here down in the center, draw a slightly curved line, come back up, curved line, curved line on top, kind of a square rectangle on the bottom, connect. Okay? Now I come back up to the top and I'm going to draw curve line, connect, rectangle, connect, rectangle, connect, curve line, connect, curve line, connect, rectangle, connect, curve line, connect. I come back up and I do it again on the top. Curve line, curve line, connect, curve line, curve line, connect, rectangle, connect. Okay. Now on this space right here, I'm going to add little curve lines down and around all the way up and over. On the left hand side, now watch what I do. I'm going to put a dot. From that dot, I'm going to do curve line in, curve line out. Come back to the dot. We're going to draw a big curve line down, curve line up, down, and leave that floating. Come back to the top, draw a curve line all the way down and connect at the bottom, and then come right here and draw a curve line, I mean a straight line, curve line up, in, down, in, straight line, connect, jump over, and now we're going to draw curve line, straight line, curve line, curve line, come back to the top, straight, I mean curve line, curve line in, loop-de-loop, -loop, bring it down, curve line, curve line, up, connect, Come back up on this section, straight line, jump over, connect, and let's put a little loop in here. Okay? Alright. I think that's all. Let's see how we're going to color this all in. Okay, we're going to do a lot of double coloring on here, but the first thing I'm going to do is take a light colored toned crayon for his face, a little bit on his lips, and down here on his neck. Now, what you have to remember about Edward, the seventh, no, the sixth, is that he was a crowned king at the age of nine. So basically, this is a little kid. Okay, this is a boy. And he died it at 15, so he was even young when he left the earth plane. Sorry, dropped my yellow, which is a very important color because these initials are for Edward. This is an E, that's an R. These should be yellow. All of these embroidered spaces, these should be all yellow. If you have gold, you could use gold, but if you don't, you're going to use yellow. This is all decoration. Come down and do these decorations. You can do these yellow. Stand in for gold on his shirt. And I think maybe I did a little bit of yellow on these loop-de-loops. Okay. Then, he was, he looks like a ginger to me. So I'm going to lightly do his, this is his hair. I'm going to lightly do it red. I'm going to put another layer of brown on top and then I'm going to finish off 
with some orange because this looks like he's got he's a ginger he's got red hair okay I'm going to do his eyeballs black okay and this Space right here is a feather. So I'm going to do this kind of a light tan or brown. If you don't have these colors, you can just do your regular colors. Just use them light and dark. Okay. Now on his hat, this is all of his hat. I'm going to do this. First I'm going to do it dark brown. And this comes all the way up. He's got a double layer. This is all brown. Try to stay away from your yellow or your gold. This is also part of his hat. All the way up here. All the way down. And then what I did, I didn't want to use black as the double color. So instead, I took purple and darkened up my hat that way. If you look at pictures, his portrait that they painted of him. This whole thing in the background is very dark, but I'm leaving it white because I want you to be able to see the actual portrait figure of him. So the background you can fill in on your own if you want, but I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it just white. Now, this whole entire robe that he has on is red. So all of these little spaces around him all need to be colored in red you know he is the king so this is all red again try to stay away from your going over your gold and then this white ruffle also has like a little bit of red okay all right and then the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add his eyebrows I'm going to make a little bit darker and I'm going to fill in his lips a little bit lightly with this brown okay all right let's see what he looks like all colored in okay here's Edward the sixth he was the son of Henry the eighth he died young at 15 years old and was crowned king at the age of nine. So he was just a little guy. Okay, bye-bye.